Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. I scored 30 out of 30 in TOEFL writing. In this lesson, I will talk about different ways to increase your TOEFL writing score. Let's get started! Have you been getting the same scores when practicing for TOEFL writing? I'm going to give you several points about what is necessary to get a score of over 24. Try focusing on these in order to boost your score to the next level. First, answer the question. This may seem obvious, but this is a common mistake. Each TOEFL writing task asks you to do different things. Please note that in the integrated writing task, you do not give your own opinion about the topic. You must instead summarize what you hear and present the opinions of other people. You may have a strong opinion about a topic in the integrated task. However, if you give your own views, then you are not answering the question. Next, paraphrase. I cannot tell you how important this point is. You must demonstrate a large vocabulary to get a high score on the TOEFL writing section. If you just quote what is written in the article or what the lecturer says, you do not show that you understand the idea. Let me give you an example. Let's say the lecturer says the collapse of the Roman Empire, which many people say happened in 476 AD, came after a period of decline. Your response might include the collapse of the Roman Empire happened in 476 after a period of decline. Now, the TOEFL examiner knows that you can copy information you hear. However, that response doesn't show that you actually know the meaning. If you paraphrase or use different words, then you prove that you understand the idea. More than that, you show that you understand well enough to use different words from your great vocabulary. Here's a better response because it is full of paraphrased words. The Roman Empire fell in the year 476 AD, though before that time it has been losing power. This response kept Roman Empire because that is a proper noun. However, it includes fell instead of the collapse and changed after a period of decline to before that time it has been losing power. Has this video been helpful to you so far? If so, you can help me too. Click on like to show other people how to boost their TOEFL writing scores. Point number three is related to point number two. Use a large vocabulary. Even if you're not talking directly about words from the text, you can use different words for the same idea. It's easy to fall into a pattern where you use the same words. In integrated writing, you need to report what the text and speaker say. Use different words for said, like claimed or argued. You can find many alternatives for said in my integrated task template. Each sentence starter in this template uses a different word for said. So if you memorize them, you will have all these words in your head when you take the TOEFL. If you need templates for TOEFL writing, click on the link in the description. You will find templates for all the TOEFL writing tasks, TOEFL integrated writing, and independent writing there, and plenty of examples to really boost your score. In independent writing, people often repeat the same basic noun phrases. For example, you may be asked about 
whether sports or arts should be taught in school. It's easy to write, I think sports should be taught in schools because sports are good for building muscles. Sports are also good for making friends. Do you see how sports and good are repeated? Get a higher score by using different nouns. Now I will use athletics for sports. Good is vague, so changing the sentence structure is better at showing why sports are good. I think sports should be taught in schools because athletics build muscles and help a person make friends. Let's move on to complex sentences. I mentioned this a bit already. Use different sentence structures. If you just use noun, verb, object, Again and again, the writing is boring. Practice writing complex sentences. For example, you can use if clauses, relative clauses and combine sentences using words like and or but. Check out the difference between these two independent writing examples. Here's the first one. I like relaxing on weekends. I don't like doing a lot of exercise. I like reading books. The books I like best are mysteries. Now look at how the ideas can be combined. I like relaxing, especially reading mystery books rather than exercising on weekends. That sentence is awesome. Like is not repeated. Instead, don't like becomes a comparison with rather than. Also, the books I like best are mysteries becomes a modifier, especially reading mystery books. There are lots of ways to make complex sentences, but include different structures in your response to get a good score. If you want to know how to build complex sentences, check out my video about that. In this video, I show you how to write complex sentences that get you a high TOEFL writing score. The link is in the description. Now I want to move to number five. Number five is to write good paragraphs. This is another common mistake in TOEFL writing, guys. It's easy to focus too much on each sentence. However, you need to divide the ideas logically. Your whole paper should have an introduction, body and conclusion. Those parts need to be divided into logical paragraphs. A response without a logical structure will not get a good top of writing score. My suggestion is to use a template. Templates are great because they give you the structure you need for a good response. They are not memorized examples because you have to fill them in with your own ideas that relate to the topic. The template is a pattern with sentence starters, so you use a wide range of good vocabulary and organize your ideas well. As I said before, I have made templates for the two TOEFL writing tasks and you can find them at the link in the description below. I would like to end with linking words. Using linking words is another important way to boost your TOEFL writing score. Linking words are words or phrases that show how ideas in one sentence relate to the sentences around them. For example, first let the reader know that there will be other ideas in a list. Second, tells the reader that the first idea is done and you're starting the next idea. Some linking words refer to time, so the reader understands the order of events. Time-linking words include before and then. 
Others show contrast, like however. Yet other linking words introduce the result of your discussion, such as therefore. There are hundreds of different linking words. If you want to know more about linking words, have a look at my video about that. In this video, I show you great linking words that you can use in TOEFL writing to improve your score. You can find the link in the description. Start using these words to join your ideas and push your TOEFL writing score to the next level. That's it! Try using these ideas to boost your TOEFL writing score. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or a video wish, comment below and I would love to see you here next time. Bye bye!